Have you ever been cruising down the interstate, blaring some tunes on your way to some fabulous location and noticed a trailer in front of you and thought, I wonder what kind of connectivity solutions that trailer has. All right, might just be me. <laughs> but it might be you after this chalk talk. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Smart trailers can now be equipped with a wide variety of interconnection systems, including wire-to-wire, wire-to-board, and high-speed data solutions. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Blaine Dudley from TE Connectivity and I explore the evolution of smart trailer technology the different applications within a trailer where connectivity would be valuable, and how TE Connectivity is encouraging innovation in the world of smart trailer technology. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from TE Connectivity. Hi, Blaine. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, good afternoon. So, Blaine, we're talking about smart trailers today. So what kind of trends are you seeing push the need for connectivity solutions in trailers? Yeah, you know, the trailer market in general has changed a lot through the past you know, 20, 30 years. Obviously, back before the 2000s, we were mainly seeing, you know, lights, truck to trailer connection and a very simplified electrical architecture. And as we've moved into 2000, you know, we've added ABS, EBS, tire pressure monitoring and inflation and GPS tracking, again, pretty much widely adopted. And we're starting to see here in the near future, even more adoption of technology like sensors, cameras, telematics, really giving not only drivers, but fleets the ability to monitor trailers, the health, preventative maintenance, and really create an experience that is optimizing the solution. Um, and it's more than just, you know, an add on to the truck. So even further out for 2025 and beyond, we're starting to see the same trends that are coming into the automotive industry and heavy truck industry float over to the trailer industry. So you're seeing that autonomy start to develop there. You're seeing ethernet connectivity, radars, e-axles for the e-mobility side and a continued drive in technology to bring those components of the solution up to the technology standards of the rest of the market. Cool. Now, I would imagine that there are a lot of different applications within a trailer where connectivity would be valuable. Absolutely. A lot of these options that we have today that we've identified are not widely adopted in all cases, but as we saw before, the need for sensors and tracking traceability are huge. So some of these items, you know, are around brake health, tire health, weight management. We've even seen stuff around landing gear on the asset help piece. You know, telematics is really gaining a lot of traction and being adopted pretty heavily. So we're seeing, you know, high speed solutions that are communicating all this data back to fleet management systems and giving the driver visibility of what's going on in the the trailer that he's pulling. So on the e-mobility side, we're seeing again, whether it be battery packs or even just the reefer units with the cooling systems that are moving away from that combustion side and over to the e-mobility side, seeing a lot of technology go into those aspects of the trailer as well. So ICT, which our business unit here at TE Connectivity that's focused on commercial vehicles, we have solutions that support all of those applications, whether it be on that sensor side or just on the interconnect side. And so a lot of the mainstream connector families that we utilize today for interconnects on trucks are, again, also finding their way over to the trailer side and fill in those applications where there's a harsher environment and more robust performance requirements needed for that interconnect solution to maintain its performance over the life of the trailer. Cool. So let's talk more about the specific solutions that TE Connectivity offers for smart trailers. Yeah, you know, as this has become a very hot topic in the industry, especially moving from automotive to commercial vehicles, data connectivity is, you know, a big item that is driving a lot of the technology. So again, as we've developed solutions specific for this particular industry that utilizes our connector families, but integrates those high speed data options within those families, 
customers can experience, obviously, the reliability and performance that they've used on the traditional interconnect side and now just have the option to have solutions that use those same interfaces and performance requirements, but have high speed availability in there. So some of those families are ENET SEAL, our heavy duty SEAL connector series with MateNet inserts, our DT high speed, and our AmpSIL 16 with coax terminals. So again, those are tried and true families in this industry that have served for traditional interconnect power and signal. And now we've got options there as well that will utilize those same connector housings, but integrate the high speed option in there so customers can add that to their portfolio. Excellent. Now, you guys also offer a wide variety of solutions in the e-mobility market as well, right? Right. Yeah. So not only the data connectivity, but e-mobility as well for commercial vehicles. So a lot of these solutions are supporting not only on heavy truck and even in ag construction industries, but these same technologies and product families could be adopted on the trailer. So when we think of battery pack support that could potentially aid a truck and extend mileage and distance traveled, there's solutions there that are going to float in from the commercial vehicle side of our business that could support that. Some of those families are HVP, HD 1000, the 1400, as well as our IPT solutions. And again, These are solutions designed for more robust applications. So customers can rest assured that these are going to be proven and support market applications that are really geared toward the commercial vehicle space versus automotive. Another item in this selection is charging inlets. And again, we've got some specific charging inlets that are made for the commercial vehicle industry that could support applications on the trailer as well. If we think about those battery banks and how we're going to keep that solution charged up and maintained. So I think from TE's perspective, these are unique and really valuable for the industry as far as having something that's going to stand the test of time and be a reliable solution for, you know, the future of e-mobility as it comes to the market. Excellent. Well, Blaine, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Absolutely. Thank you. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from TE Connectivity. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.